shows you guys. Hello, I'm trying to find my dice. I don't know where it went to. Well, where did my dice go at, you guys? I was going to roll and see who this reading is for now. My dice has totally disappeared. Now, how the hell is that? I just used it a few minutes ago. Where did it go to? Sorry, you guys. So it landed on Aquarius. So it's readings for Aquarius and who else? Aquarius and who else? Aquarius landed on it again. Hang on, Aquarius and who else? Aquarius and who else? Libra. So it's for Aquarius and Libra. Okay. And I'm going to read out of the book in a minute. Let me pull out some of these messages. I've been pulling out these messages for us, you guys. And I want y'all to pay attention, okay? Guys, I'm trying to get them. They're hard to get out sometimes. Okay. But it's going to tell us what we need to be aware of, okay? When somebody passed away today that I hadn't talked to in a while, it was my, my sister in law, and I want to acknowledge her today. And I hope that. She's with her mom, and her mom died when she was real young. She was like 29 when her mom died, and now she died, and she's got a little boy, and her little boy had done been living with his his, his mommy's brother, so they've been taking care of him because my brother-in-law's in jail, and he, he never did take care of his family. He's been in jail uh, because all it... All they did was fight, and he'd already been in trouble when they got together. So I just want to acknowledge that little boy, and I, I feel for that little boy. That's who I feel for. That's who I'm feeling for, you all. That's, that's who needs who needs the pity is, is him. Because it's... But... But she's probably better off. She had done lost her eyeball and stuff, you all, from diabetes. So she died of a heart attack this morning. And I can't remember. She might have been like a year older than me is all. It's sad, you know. It, it's sad because nobody never knows when you're going to die. Yep, none of us never know. That's what's sad. So, I'm going to read these to us first, you guys. So, if you're in Tennessee, hey, Tennessee, go Vols, woo! I know Tennessee, you guys. I'm from down there in that area. We're Kentucky, Virginia, and Tennessee, y'all is. That's where I'm from. Uh, around ETSU. So, your own kids make you feel depleted of energy. Somebody that lives in Tennessee. I live in West Virginia. Someone wears cheetah print at your work. Somebody at worst cheetah print at your work might run their mouth on you. And these people was trying to turn your kids against you and their father and spirit is all on their asses now. So somebody you work with was trying to turn your kids against you and their daddy. And you are their camera. You, you, you might have to take the whole bunch down for their evil deeds in it that they've done to many people. Somebody's getting ready to get some damn karma big. 
and and we need to listen to frequencies listen to those healing frequencies on youtube i told you you guys you're going to be remembered for years to come for your work in society oh we thank you for that spirit don't we yeah we thank you for that they're stalking your youtube channel look your neighbors is stalking your YouTube channel. What spirit just told on your ass? <laughs> and um, whoever stole my internet box, all I know is if you live close around, spirit's going to get you for doing that. If they did it to me, I don't know. All I know is it didn't get to me. When that lightning struck, I had to call and get another fucking box. So isolation was the key. Yes, yes. Isolation was the key for bringing to light what needed to be brought to light dear god thank you for guiding me to see beyond the physical realms thank you isolation was the key to that and you're going to be remembered in your society for years to come and and somebody likes to smile and lie and look you in your eyes and you know and you sense their lies could be these neighbors that stalk in your channel and, and and they was trying to take down a chosen one you can't take down a chosen one neighbors you can't you can't take down a chosen one. DNA activation. You're known for greatness. Ooh, you're getting a DNA activation. Because you listen to your frequencies. And and you're a spiritual teacher. you got a channel like I do. And hit subscribe. You're satisfied with your life. You're satisfied with life, Aquarius and Libras. The energy is gaining momentum now. You're connected to horses because you used to break them in and train them to be with your Indian tribes. Yes, that come out the other day. It must be true. And if you had a question out there, it's no. The answer's no. That's all I know. I don't know what y'all's question was, but it's no. And cut the cords and the healing will begin then. These, these might be these neighbors didn't want you to cut cords with them. But that's the only way to heal. And your ancestors are telling you to run from the people that you was trauma bonding with. And that's what you did. You completed this cycle out with your neighbors, okay? <laughs> with these people that you're supposed to run from. It says, only love me even when my addictions please no players. Uh-uh. Spirit guides, guides you to your destined path. Just obey and wait faithfully and patiently. And this is all that he wants from you. Isolation is key. Don't flow against the grain. Flow with the grain so your life flows seamlessly without effort. You gain clarity on that. Uh, you was going against the grain. You gain clarity that your neighbors was stalking your YouTube channel and smiling and lying to, at your face. And what they didn't know is your ancestors t is telling on them. And, and we're cutting cords with them. And someone has saw it as a walk for you, bye bye, bloom, blam. Ooh, somebody will want to give you something. God Raw is smiling down on you and me out here today, you guys. Cause, you know, it says stand up and defend yourself from this piece of shit manipulator. Oh, that's what we did. That's why God Raw is shining on you. Cause you stood up to some bully that might have been your neighbor. Okay? Now, don't take this to heart, you all. If you're not having problems with your neighbors, it's not for you. Don't get mad. Don't get mad and take things out on me and hate me for your all trauma bonding with somebody. That's not me. You got to complete those cycles out. You got to go in isolation. And you're going to be remembered. And we know people stalk. So we know the neighbors stalk our YouTube channel. They're, fl they're flowing against the grain, not flowing with the grain. 909. So tonight I'm gonna put it like it's 1999. Remember in the cycle, 999. <laughs> Dear God, thank you for guiding me to see beyond the physical realms. I have a life path number nine, you guys. Listen to your house frequencies. Cause, you know, these people is trying to turn you against your, hus your kids and husband against you. And we know that. And we're connected to animals. And, and the, you are their karma. You gotta take the whole bunch down. And you said, no, I don't want a player. No players. I'm, I'm happy and satisfied with my life. And you're all satisfied with your life. And somebody runs their mouth on you. And they're depleting you of energy. Could be somebody that lived in Tennessee. 
Okay, you guys. All right, now I wanted to read this to you all. An invitation to connect, number 19, okay? And then I'm going to read from this book, The Star Family. Ain't that cool? It come out together. All right, so first I got to do this light worker oracle, number 19. Number 19 is special to me. I know who that is, and I love number 19. Okay, so what this is saying is, love exists throughout the universe. Many loving beings that do not belong to the human race exist in worlds beyond the earth, earthly realm. Among these are those who are aware of the spiritual plight of humanity and are willing and able to help us move forward. Unlike those who close their minds because they fear the unknown, you have an open mind and an open receptive heart. Beings from other worlds recognize you as a receptive channel for their unconditionally loving assistance in this world. You will both benefit from this individuality and help the planet, so you are being offered an invitation to connect. Did you hear that? Okay, so great peace can grow in the heart of those who are unafraid, who are open to the idea of beings that are aware of humanity, but not human themselves who want to help humanity evolve and have the spiritual power to be able to do so. No matter how mixed up and consumed by darkness the world may seem at times, there are so many powers of light working to see the earth and humanity through the most interesting time to see us into the new age of spiritual enlightenment. It is all part of the divine experiment of life, and there are many forces invested in the successful and loving evolution of humanity. So that's all it is, you guys. This is just about a triumph of love on this planet at this moment, okay? All right, so that was what an initiation to connect to man meant. You need to be open to this. Uh, and, you know, it said many human, many loving beings that do not belong to the human race exist in worlds beyond the earthly realm. Did you hear that? Oh, and then here we got Star Family. Now let me get that book, and it's number 12, so maybe you know a number 12 I heard you guys. And what that says is, scattered throughout your earth rests an enlightened army of more than 144,000 souls that seek to actively serve your planet's evolution. You're a part of the 144,000, just like me. Hit subscribe, I love you guys. Amongst this group of service workers rests an even higher niche, niche of relatives that many refer to as their soul or star family. These are beings within your close circle that come from similar constellations and are on similar life missions. When beings of the same frequencies converge together, magic occurs as consciousness connects multiple forms of intelligence to reawaken one another. We, the Pladans, are similar in nature as we arrange our societies around group consciousness and build upon the strength. Frequently, we come together in group situations, councils, and collectives to better grow and evolve our species. These group councils facilitates for us to consciously weave our intellects and receive integrated more whole intelligence that serves our species and worlds so you're all connected through vast telepathic networks and we're all influencing each other either consciously or unconsciously towards our next level of evolution it's therefore a group consciousness that will propel your species shifting from the limitations of the simple I to the wholeness of we when the star family card arrives, it's suggesting for one to reunite or connect deeper with their star family. Perhaps you know who these beings are, who these beings and are already with them, and if so, it's the ideal time to reach out, strengthen your group bonds, and further amplify your star mission. Okay, so you know this is talking about your friends and being social, communion, soul, family remembrance, activation, group connection. So you're trying to connect your group at the moment. You're trying to make them be aware of what's going on in on the planet right now, you know. And it's saying this is an invitation to connect to a star family. Did you notice how that went together, too? It, it was asking you to connect with your star family invitation. So do it. I love you guys. Peace. Hit subscribe. I need to help. Because, look. Oh, wow. You're a goddess. Oh, gosh. You, you got a lot of wisdom and nature and life force helping you and sensuality. And and, and, and you like to laugh. You, you help people laugh at absurdity and hypocrisy. That's all it means to you guys. You got the Midas touch. You know, that means your entrepreneur creative ability to turn anything to gold. You delight in sharing life's riches with your friends, and that's good. And family. 
because you know you, you might have a child magical child oh wow this is seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things to believe that everything is possible so your star family believes that everything is possible they see you as a goddess fool that does things funny you know and that you're turning this uh magical dream of yours to life that's all it meant 15 15 just passed okay 66 oh because it's all for humanity's sake wow Get your kicks on Route 66. Children. Uh, you're, it says your love life is being affected by children right now. Somebody out here. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Because remember it said in them white cards that your neighbors was trying to turn your kids against you. But it's all right. Me and my kids are good. So I hope you all are out there, you guys. I don't get to see them as much as I want to, but they don't live here with me anymore. Be grateful for the time you do have. I am grateful for everyone and everything in my life and the lessons that each person brings with them. Say that. Say, I am grateful for everyone and everything in my life and the lessons that each brings. Maybe you got a little deer around you. And see this swirl? Remember me telling y'all the other day about when my stepson died? I don't know if you watched that reading, but... It was, I told you, it was electrical orbs. This is what it looks like in the chairs. Okay. You're going through a transformation. It says, I journey within to meet my higher self and to find true happiness. That's that's what you're doing. You went inside yourself. Like you went in that tunnel inside of yourself. And that's how you're transforming to find true happiness, you know. And in order to succeed, we must first believe that we can. If you don't believe it, you're not going to. Bay -bay. That's why I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I believe I'm a magical child. That that, And I do have a star family. I do have people watching me right now. And I love y'all and I appreciate you. And if you're new and you watch this far, please hit subscribe. If you're a goddess and you got the Midas touch, I love you. And if you're an Aquarius or a Libra and your child magical or just whoever you are, just hit it, please. But on Sunday, you need to go inwards and develop a vision. Somebody out here does. This is the times of life. You reflect the world, the world reflects you. So Sunday, that's what you need to do. Go inwards and see what vision you got to bring out to the world. Okay, you guys? That's all it means. Now let me shove the weeds and see what it says. Here's some of my other messages. Star family. Star family. We're all connected, remember? We are. It's true. What's star family want to know? Don't give all your power away or your visions for the sake of being accepted by the same people not wanting you to shine brightly. Okay? You reflect the world. The world reflects you. That's what it just said. This was about your vision. Go inwards to develop a vision. See how my readings? There's vision. See vision? My readings are connected. I don't care what people think. And that's why I know somebody's latched on the internet. They know I'm supposed to reach a lot of people, you guys. But don't don't worry about people that don't want to see you upgrading, okay, goddess? You will receive upgrades in your spirituality only after you speak your truths to the people who are stopping you. So I've got upgrades coming. I just speak my truth. Did you guys? Good. Good, 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 good. We will succeed. Because it said we're going to succeed. Ooh, this represents service, knowledge, and intelligence. Great communicator. Because your caring nature helps others in their journey. Virgo. Ooh, I got so lots of Virgo in me. Looky, 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 looky. I either got... In some of these bird charts, I got five Libras, and in some of others, I got five Virgos. So I say I got a lot of Virgo and Libra. Yeah, yeah, it teeters. It's a teeter teeter. And um, my twin flame is Virgo. We're married. We've been married 22 years. We've been through a lot. We've been through a lot. And we love each other. We love each other, and we help each other daily. And somebody needs to learn to do the right thing and be grateful. Grateful, again, grateful of living your truth and standing up for who and what you love and want. Like I just did, be grateful. Okay? If you're a Virgo out here, be grateful. Upgrades is coming to our life. 
and somebody that it said don't give all your power away or your visions for a second being sick by the same people not wanting you to shine brightly uh, it could have been a, a man that want that likes to go to jail and do workouts but but he's got his eyes on some high high honor woman i don't know what that means but it come out you guys what about who's receiving upgrades Oh, look, you're starting to see your harvest of blessings from seeds sown in your pies. Look, your corn is growing. Your corn's growing up. Raise is coming to you. Virgo, baby, because you are about humanity just like me, just like Aquarius. That's what we do, baby, Virgos. That's what we do. Oh, no, no, no. Not bringing that card out. Somebody said they want you to rebel so they have something on you to blab again. No, no, Virgo, we're not going to rebel now, Virgo. Uh-uh. If you think I'm going to rebel, you're crazy, so you might as well get it out of your mind, whoever this one is. I don't know who it is, but whoever it is, they can't do it. That could have been your neighbor, okay? Remember it said neighbor earlier? And we learned how to do the right thing, and you need to accept that You'll not always agree with everyone, and people isn't always going to agree with you either. Accept people's differences. You gotta accept people's differences, okay? So stop giving your power away to people. So your upgrades can come. All right. Hang on, I think I will get some more messages. It ain't down to you guys. I wanna give you another message, you guys. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. ain't it? So, yes, it is. I'm gonna give you some circle ones. You like circle messages? I do too. Spirit, can we have some circles? Hang on, you guys. I gotta do what like this, cause so they don't get out of order, alright? Gives us something good, you guys. Spirit, what's something? Oh, something come out fast for us. Oh, there's a dead end apocalypse. Apocalypse is coming, oh boys. Oh, the animal. The animal is coming out, and the apocalypse is coming. It's a dead end. The end of the world is coming at all. With a flame. With a flame is a dead end, and the lovers going to apocalypse in the neck or whatever that means can we have two more two more two more one number two. Oh wow it's a sh 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 shape shifter all right so it looks like somebody is like kind of devilish and the other person's kind of on an even kill <laughs> So we got dead end and it landed in the dark side. See how I wrote? And that says inertia, stuckness, tension, unconscious, gripping. So somebody is stuck in their unconscious and they're needing to accept their truth and have humility and they'll get relief and reverence for change then, you know. This is a closed door, final chapter, impasse. So maybe you already closed the door on someone in your life, and it could have been with your neighbors, because that was what pulled out. Or with a Virgo, whoever's watching me. And um, this says apocalypse. And this is about the unknown becomes known and guides the way, see? And the dark side is uh, nihilism. I don't know. But fatalism, hopelessness, removing the veil of deception. That's all it is. That's why it's a dead end, because you've done removed the veil of deception with this person. And, and you know, they was it was like savage. Somebody was savage, and they had pent up emotions, and they was lashing out at you. And, you know, the light side is a vital, this is, you know, vital, elemental, alive, you, you know, dances, you know beast wild one she wolf 
So you saw through that bell deception with this she wolf or he wolf. That's what it says, buddies. And they is somebody is a it is a charlatan people pleaser tricker around. Okay. Shapeshifter. And the light side will be vibrant, adaptive, and humorous. Well, it might be that because the fool come out, so that might be what it is. But it says there's a trickster that's elusive and formless around. So there's some trickster around. Oh, and it might be your flame. Look, moth to a flame. Yeah, you told my name. So the dark side is it, it, excess heat and anger, complete darkness. Light side is health, mental clarity, and good digestion. All right. So this dead end situation, you got mental clarity on it. That's all it means. And if you don't have a good digestion, it's to warning you, your gut's just telling you, get the fuck away from that person. That's all it means. That's what a woman's intuition's for. Use it. Oh, God. This is about a... There's a little glimmer of something in there now, it said. There's a glimmer, and here's a lover. This is about your connection and to the divine and expansion, devotion, and all. It's about your heart, your beloved and devoted, okay? And the dark side would be indulgence, attachment to obsession. So, I think what it's saying is you was attached to this dark person around you because it says dark, they're in complete darkness. They lie. They're, you're at a dead end. It, it says apocalypse. Somebody might be going to die. It's still been saying it in my readings. And, so if they keep lashing out at and going on acting crazy, then you'll know why that they got took. But this is the nectar. You're you're the medicine. You're the elixir. Do you understand the garden? You're you're this animal's elixir. Uh, dark side is fixation on fixing. Aggressive approach to healing. No, we're not fix, fixed on fixing because everything ain't about fixing. It's about healing. Light side is glowing, relaxed, subtle illumination. I'll tell you what it means in just a minute, all these. And then the last card was up, Kairos. And light side is you're in alignment. You got ease in decision making process and your actions, okay? And the dark side is fighting against time. This is about mythic time synchronicity. So. So what it's saying to me is, this is a dead-end situation, goddess. Goddess, child, magical goddess. You, your star family and everybody is, is having, is want, they're wanting to connect with you at this moment, and your children is. They know that you're going to succeed, and don't give up on who or what your vision is. That's what it's saying. Because you, there is a little spark and glimmer for your true divine masculine, the flame, you understand? Swans make for life, you know. Don't don't lose faith that this connection that you you that was brought to you is is glowing and you're you're glowing at the moment. This is got illuminated to you that this is vital information that you're giving to people and this is about, you know, you just feel alive at the moment and and you're vibrant. Your vibration's rising. That's why. And you're in alignment. And you have ease in decision-making process. That's all it means, you guys. Okay? Well, I hope this helps you out there today, of course. And Libra, I love you. That's all I can give to you today. And, well, hang on. Wait. Let me do this. Let me give you one of these little messages. Spirit, spirit. Can we have one of these messages? Do, 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 do. What's a little love message? What's a little love message for the one they want? All oh, work occupation. So, this might have been somebody you work with at you that you think is your star family. Oh, it's something about a lady that you work with. So, some young lady that you work with, okay, what about it? Oh, they're in their thoughts. Somebody that you work with or used to work with, they're, they they're, they got gloomy thoughts. They can't stop thinking about you. They, they're having a short illness. 
So they're sick at the moment. This lady used to work with, or work with still, they're sick. And uh, they're sick and something about their marriage. Oh, they're sick and their marriage is being affected at the moment because of uh, because of some karmic female, the main main person, that's what that means, main person is karmic female, and, and uh, you're going to receive a letter, hang on, let me pull out, oh, about somebody's death, you're going to receive a letter about somebody's death, okay, and, and uh, what it meant is, oh, oh, okay, Somebody, if you're going to receive a letter about a death and about a theft from your living room. Oh, wow. Maybe that's why your neighbors is, is uh, what was it saying earlier about your neighbors? The, your neighbors might have actually did steal something from you or something from your living room because it does set it. And you're going to gain a lot of money. Look at our Aquarius. I love us. Don't you all? Oh, and I do too. And so what it's saying this way, backwards, it said, you're gaining a lot of money. It's coming to your living room because somebody stole from you. And, and they was trying to steal from a death. Whenever somebody dies, like they're trying to steal your uh, life insurance. That's what it was. And, and you're going to receive a letter about it, how it's karmic feminine. This karmic female tried to fuck with your marriage. That's what it is. And there's another whore around. And don't worry, she's going to die. She's getting ready to because it says she's going to have a short illness. So if somebody's trying to mess with something of mine, don't worry, you're going to get it. You and you and whoever's doing it to me, i tell you right now. So, yeah, I guess you would be in your thoughts and you want to jump off a cliff and you need to. You need to, lady, at your work occupation, whoever you are, you need to jump off the cliff because you can't be going around robbing from people's fucking houses. I don't agree with that. And it's not going to happen over here. God will not allow it to happen. <laughs> but I love you guys, and I hope it's helped somebody today. It helps me because it says it's every time I do a quarry, it says the same shit for me. I know I'm going to receive money from, from something that somebody is stealing from me. And I love you, and I thank you, Spirit, because you're going to give it to me, and you're going to give it to my collective people, and I love you all. And if you're new and you watch it always the way through, hit subscribe because I'll tell you something good tomorrow. Peace.